This is a 2010 Honda Civic EX sedan model, four door, okay? Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how I fix and replace this uh, speedometer. You know, the one that tell you how fast you're going and it got water temperature and a few gauge, okay? It's all come in one unit. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I did to fix it, okay? So I'm gonna turn the key on and let you see what it's supposed to look like. So you, you're supposed to see three number eight and then it's gonna go back to zero, okay? So I'm gonna put the key on, I'm gonna turn it on, and there it is, three number eight, and then it go back to zero. That's what you're supposed to see, okay? So anyway, on my, uh, the second digit, the middle digit, is missing the top line and the left edge, okay? The third digit, from right to left, the third digit, is missing the whole top line and the, the top left edge, okay? so. I don't have to worry about the uh, third digit because I never drive past 100 mile power. Uh, but the second digit, you know, like number two, number three, number five, and number six, you know, the top line is uh, is not display. Okay, so that's when I decided to re replace the whole thing, and I discover a way you can fix it. Uh, um, but you know that it's not a, a one one fix for all. Okay, so if if your uh, speedometer is really bad shape, then you have to replace it, okay? But I discover that fix by accident, so when I take it out, I'm going to show you uh, what I did to fix it. And you might want to try that before you think about replacing it. Another thing, too, is when I uh, replacing it, I went online, I ordered the parks, and it came in, and it doesn't work because it's coming off a 2007 Honda Civic EX Coupe model, okay? The coupe model and the sedan model is not exchangeable. That's how I find out, okay? So, um, you know, I'm gonna show you how to take it out and during that process, I'm gonna show you how to take this out too, just in case you need to replace it, okay? Um, for this one right here, you don't have to calibrate it because the information, it does not store in the, C, uh, in the uh, computer. So your computer will recognize that. But if you replace in this, then I think you have to calibrate it because this have to do with the mileage, okay? So keep that in mind if you're gonna replace this one. For that one right there, just uh, a swap change. And, and, so, um, and so that's it. And this is something that you can do at, at home, okay? So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna try to take out this uh, panel down here first okay so on here uh, what I do is I put my hand right here and uh, you use two hands okay one right here and probably open the door using the other hand let me take the key off there okay using the other hand put it right here and then one hand right here and you just yank it okay now I think I already got this uh, uh, pull off okay all you do is pull toward you and it will come out okay it's all in by clip. Your may be a little bit harder than mine. Uh, work around all the way to this side also. Okay, once it's pop out, it, it will look like that. Okay, so it's only hole in by clip. And so you, so you put it hand in and you pull it toward you or the back seat. Okay, all right, set that aside. Uh, the second thing that you want to do while you're here is this steering column here. You have to, you have to loosen it, okay, just push this button down, and this thing going to go up and down on you like that, okay, and, and um, the thing you want to do is you want to pull them back, okay, that way when you take this out, it's easy for you, all right, okay, make sure it's pulled back, all right, that way this thing going to slide out easy for you. Okay, so after you got this out of there, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm using a mural. Okay. I'm using a mural, and you see the plate right there, okay? So you see there's two slot, okay? One on this side and one on this side. So what you do is put a mirror in there, put it in that slot, and you want to pry it in both of these slots should come out, okay? Using a small screwdriver so it fit into that slot, okay? Here I got one of these small screwdriver, all right? 
And there it is. You're looking at the mirror image. I put it in that slot and I just turn the screwdriver and that thing pop out. Now I'm going to do the same with this one. Okay, put it in that slot, turn it, and this thing pop out like that. Okay, so there is the two slot. All right, really simple. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this screwdriver. I'm still using a mural. Uh, so you're looking at the mural reflection, okay? You see that two screw right there? Now, if you have uh, OEM radio, uh, then please watch um, the video that I show you how to um, replace a radio. That's where you have the OEM, I think, 8 millimeter bolt, okay? But since my radio is uh, aftermarket and... Uh, um, and uh, two screw go on there, two Phillips screw, okay? So on this one, you, I'm using a stubby screwdriver, okay? So I'm going to put it in, I'm going to take the, the two screw out, okay? Okay, there's all the two screw. It's hard to show on the camera because I need one hand to hold the uh, screwdriver steady and then the other hand to turn it, okay? So... These are aftermarket screw, so if you want to know how to take that original one, please watch my video when I replace this radio, okay? It's all in the 2010 Honda Civic um, folder under the description. Uh, and I think part one is show you how to take out the radio, okay? Uh, that's if you have still have the OEM, okay? Uh, then, after so the, the uh, plate is out, so I took out that plate and two screw, and next thing I'm going to go is go back to this panel that I just pulled out. Okay, this one right here. There's a screw. Pull up screwdriver. Okay, screw right there. Just take it out. Okay, this is a black screw. Where the other radio is white screw. Okay. Alright, so... Now, what you want to do, the thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to try to pull this out. It's, it's all hole in by clip, so make sure that screw is out of there. So, I, I'm going to put my hand in here, and I just pull this out. See how easy it comes out? Same way with this. Okay. And go all the way around. Um, this thing's supposed to come out of here, but to me, I... I have a hard time getting it out, so I'm going to take the whole piece out, so it's it's going to pop out like that, okay? It might be a little bit harder on your car, because remember, I took this out before, so, all right. All right, like so, okay? And then, uh, when this thing disengages like that, what I do is I go on this side here, and there, sh there should be a connector to these... Uh, these guys right here, the button, okay, take it out like so, and what I can do is I can lift this up, and I'm going to go underneath here, okay, and I don't know if it's show on the camera, that Y connector right there, uh, I'm going to push the button, and I'm going to pull this connector out, okay. There it is, okay? The button is uh, pretty much on top. You just press on it and you pull this connector out, like so. Really simple. And there's three more, I think two or three more connectors back underneath here. So you can see it, it's right underneath your radio. So there's one right here. The button is to the left side, okay? Uh, push on it. Wiggle it and pull this out. And then the other one, I think it's for the hazard light. Okay, the button is look like it's underneath the bottom one. Okay, push on it, wiggle it, get it out. All right, so, and then there's one more above this blue connector. And the button for, for, for that one is on the left side, okay? Put your finger in there, feel the left side, push that button, wiggle it, and pull them out. Okay, once you got this three connector out, now you can lift this out like so. 
and I'm gonna use two hands. I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna lay it on the side of, of the box like this. So leave something here. That way, this whole thing can lay on there. Okay. Now, if you can get this out by pushing it out, um, this piece will come out first. Okay. I don't like to do that because these are aftermarket plastic and um, and uh, you know they're not as strong as the uh, OEM. So uh, that's why I have to do it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna use two hands to lift this out of there and I'm gonna lay it right here, okay? Right here on the box. And there it is, okay? I gently lift it out, okay? So make sure your steering wheel pull back. That way it gives you room to, uh, to uh, this thing to slide out, okay? So I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, you know, that's what it looked like right there. I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I have a tendency to drop these screws, so I'm going to put a magnet right there. And there's three screws on here that you need to take out. This one right here, right here, and one more on the left side. Okay, so take these three out. One, and put it on your magnetic tray. Okay, that one. And let's see, one more in the center here. Okay, like that with the matic is help help me out. You know when you do it one hand is more difficult. All right, so after that you just pull this straight toward you or the back side of the car. Okay, just find a place where you can grip your hand, and all oh, this thing is supposed to pop out because it's hole in by clip. Okay, so like that, and then I'm gonna. Put it right here and pull it out. Like so. Pull it out. And on the back, that's what it looked like. It just hold in by clip, okay? Okay, that's what it looked like. Like that. So I'm just gonna leave it on the side. Alright, so next thing I'm gonna do is there's three more screws. One on the right side, one in the center, and one on the left side. Okay, same Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I'm gonna put a magnet on there. I'm gonna take the three screw out. Okay, that's one. Two. three there it is okay there's the three screw Let's put it on your magnetic tray and this thing should slide right out of there like that okay and then what you want to do go on the back side okay this uh, tap is on top so push it down wiggle this and pull out okay all right so I'm going to show you the trick how I fix that okay so what I'm using is this WD-40 I got this Home Depot contact cleaner okay so what I did out of desperation uh, because you know the park that I bought didn't work so I spray it in here on the connector okay this thing you have this one of these like that so I just spray it on the connector like that okay and then on here too I just spray it on here like that and I let it dry and I put it back in and all my digital uh, all my digital display again so so you might want to try this trick first before you um, thinking about buying one of these okay so 
Now I'm going to compare this one to the uh, two that I got and uh, see uh, and, and then see if it's actually the same part before I installed it in. Okay. I was looking at the, uh, um, you know, the uh, plastic piece that flew off, that broke off when I pulled this this top piece here and look like that one right there that just a white plastic piece okay so I have to take the speedometer out so basically you got three screw here one two and three okay and then you lift it out of there and there's a connector back here you just disconnect it and that's how you're gonna take the speedometer out okay so I'm just gonna put this back and you know, like I say, you don't have to take this out. The reason I took it out is because I'm looking for that plastic part that was broken, okay? All right, so this is the one that just came out. That's the OEM came with the car. Uh, this is the second one that he sent me, and this is the 2007. So as you can see, it's designed different. So these parts are not interchangeable, okay? Even though you can mount it. Mounted in, uh, you know, the, the mounting bolt will align the connector. you able to connect it, but it will not work, okay? So you see the difference. And the one I took out looked just like, look just like the one that he just sent me the second time, okay? Um, because the part number here, uh, the one can't, you know, uh, it have a part number here, and the one that he sent me, the last number, I mean, the, uh, the last part of the number is kind of like hard to read, so I'm not sure if it's the same part number. But it looked exactly alike, okay? Where this one here, you can see it's look a little bit different, okay? And the mountain, the tap is different too, so it's not interchangeable, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in, I'm going to test this to see if it works, okay? Like I did with the OEM, I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to spray in there. Okay, give it a few minutes, let it dry out before I, uh, before I uh, connect it in and uh, put them back in, okay? Okay, so after a few minutes, let it dry. I'm going to connect this in like so. Make sure it's snapped in, okay? And then, and then I'm going to mount this on. Really simple. On here, it's got a guy pin on both sides, so so make sure the guy pin is in, okay? I'm, so make sure the guy pin on both sides is on the bottom, okay? Uh, that way you can align the screw in straight. And use a manic on on top of that that uh, screwdriver. Uh, that way the screw don't fall out on you, okay? second one I'm gonna do it on the right side this is the third one now I'm gonna line this thing up so this thing is pretty easy all you do is just slide it in like so all right all right so make sure you see these three screw that look almost like it's aligned all right, and all you do is lean forward, hold it hand right here, and push it toward the front of the car, okay? You see here, snap. Okay, make sure everything line up. There you go. There you go, okay? So all this hole, or three hole, make sure it's aligned. Now, you put in the three screw. Start out with the one on the right side first. The other one. That screw. There it is. Okay, so after I install that in, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift this whole thing in, put them back, and, and there it is, okay? Use two hands, one right here, and, and one over here, okay? Make sure your steering wheel pull all the way back, that way that way you have enough room to clear this area right here for you to slide it in, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to reconnect these connector in and push them back in. And there it is, okay? Uh, what I got is the... Uh,
I'm gonna go over here to connect this connector, the last connector in here. So this one here, the tab should be on, it should be on top, okay? Just like that, it should be on top. Okay, got it aligned, tap is on top. Push it in, you should hear a snap, like so. Okay, got that part done. Now, do a little final alignment before you push everything in. Make sure all the wire is not caught. All right, you align these tap in on the bottom here, the one on top. Okay, and once you feel like you have it aligned, just push it in, like so. You should snap in, like that, okay? Like so. All right, next thing I'm gonna do now is, um, I am gonna put the two screw in. So this is uh, probably the hardest part of this because of the way the screw is designed. All right, so I'm gonna put these two screw in using a Stopy screwdriver and a mirror. Okay, there it is. I got the two screw in. Okay, you're looking at the reflection of the mirror. All right, so this is probably the hardest job uh, for this project. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this thing in. Okay, so you're looking at the slot side is facing toward you. Uh, the tap side is go on the inside. Okay, so you align the tap and then you just push it up and it should snap in. Okay, so these two tap right here, okay, these two, they're going in, and if you look at it, hopefully it'll show good on my camera. You're looking at it, it's right there, one tap and one on this side. Okay, one on that side and one on this side. So you align that tap in there, like so. Okay, and you just, once it's aligned, you just snap this in, thing in. And there it is, okay, snap it in, really simple. Okay, so last thing is a screw right here, I'm gonna put it in here, yes, a regular Phillips screwdriver. Okay, last thing is this kick panel, make sure the pins are aligned into proper slot. Okay, you just push it in like so. the way around like that there you go okay before you drive out make sure you lock the steering wheel to the way that you want it put the key in all right and that thing display good okay so I'm gonna take this out for a test drive to see how good this uh, this new speedometer upper speedometer works okay okay so everything is good to go I was uh, take it out for a test drive on the highway everything worked the way it's supposed to be so uh, before you uh, you know, if it gives you a problem, so the first thing you want to do, you want to take it out and using this trick first, okay? Clean the socket and uh, the plug, all right? You spray in with this, and uh, that's what I did. So my the OEM one worked just fine. I'm going to use that as a spare. Uh, I'm going to return this one back to the seller. And, uh, you know, one thing I forgot to mention that um, to adjust the brightness, up the slight uh, there's a button on here okay all you do is just press plus or minus okay and then you look on the bottom down here okay so I press plus you can see how the zero fill up and then I press a minus you can see how is uh, the zero is now it's less okay on the mileage here okay so here I press plus and each one of those dot I have to press like two times to get it okay so that's the brightest right there and then for me i like it like i like it um three dot like that okay but that's personal preference but you can adjust it 
by using this right here okay and that's it this is very successful uh, so uh, just remember that the coupe model will not work on the sedan model okay so you can tell that the um, that the way it designed okay the way it designed is totally different like these tap here is different so you're not going to be able to interchange okay see that it's different uh, so I'm going to use this as a spare and uh, that's it okay uh, anyway thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye